Hi boys and girls. Okay, so we're gonna be creating our own snowmen inspired by snowmen at night. So we're gonna be using a dark color of paper. Um, and you can add any kind of fun accessories that you want. I just found this book and thought this was kind of cute. He's actually got little people climbing up him like kids are creating this giant snowman. You can make yours as big as you want. Um, but we're going to start obviously with creating three snowballs, okay? Now you could choose to just do two, like Olaf if you want to, but I'm gonna do three. So um, before I can uh, put my snowballs on there though, I have to know where my land is. So you have to decide about your background first. So I'm gonna take a piece of white chalk here and I'm just gonna draw in where I want mine to be. So I could have, mine could have a really steep hill here. Um, it could even have two. I could have another hill back here maybe another one, okay. I could even have some land down here. So if I want my snowman to be up close, I'm gonna put him on this first one and I can make him bigger. If I want him to be far away or if I'm gonna do more than one snowman, I can make them sledding down this hill. I could make um, snowmen just playing back here, whatever I wanna do. I'm gonna do a really big one just so you guys can see. For the snow on the ground, I'm gonna kind of just press lightly on this and make it kind of a light white so you can kind of see my purple through so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this if I lose the lines if I'm just going all over this and I can't see where my land lines are you can always go back in and redraw these with the edge of your white I'm gonna do that again here like this because I'm losing some of them a little bit okay just draw them back in then for the snowman I'm gonna place him right here I'm gonna start, and remember, snow snowballs are never really perfectly round. So if you make yours a little wonky, that's actually gonna make it look a little more realistic. And you can draw it with the edge and then shade it in, but I want you to shade it in and get it pretty white, okay? Get it as white as you can and then add your next one. Um, rather than adding them right on top of each other, make them overlap a little bit. So I'm gonna put this one so that it's, it's like it's smushed down. You know, when you pick that snowball up and you plop it down on there, it flattens it a little bit right here so that it's touching the other snowball, okay? And then I'm gonna do another one for his head. I could make this one really round if I want to, or I can make it wonky shaped. I like mine to be a little bit wonky. I don't like them to be perfectly round. I don't think it looks very realistic. Not, not any snowman I've ever built. Okay, once you have it nice and white, um, if you're seeing chalk dust, you're probably putting just a little bit too much on there, and I probably did right there. I've got some chalk dust. Be sure that chalk dust stays on your messy mat and then when we're, when we're done, we're gonna dump our messy mat onto into a garbage can, okay? So right now I just have three white circles. I don't have any shadows or highlights. So I wanna show you this. In this one, I took a dark blue and I added a little bit of shadow to this side because my moon is over here. So my I made it lightest on this side of my snowman and darkest on this side so that it would look like the moon was shining um, on this side of him, okay? It gives him a 3D feeling. So I'm gonna get a dark blue out, or a purple. You could probably use a dark purple if you have one. I see dark blue in here, so I'm gonna do the dark blue. And I'm gonna take, oh, I guess I should put my moon in first, right? Put your moon in so you know where your moon's gonna be. I'm gonna take a, a really pale yellow here. Um, I, if I put the moon over here, that isn't very light, I'm gonna lighter one. Um, then my, my highlight has to be here. If I put it over here, the highlight side has to be here. I'm gonna do it the same as this one, just so you can see. Um, I'm gonna put my moon right up here in the sky. Now you could make your moon white. If you don't like the color of yellow that you got, I'm gonna actually mix a little white in it. I want mine to be lighter than that. There we go. And you can blend it with your finger if it doesn't look, make it glowy around the edges. If you wanna make it a little bit bigger, you can make it glow. Okay. Now, to get the correct angle, I want you to take a ruler or a pencil or something, put it in the center of your um, moon and right through the center of your bottom snowball. So I'm gonna put it right towards the center. And this right here is the angle that my shadow, my cast shadow needs to be. So when I create the shadow of the snowman on the ground, I want it to be exactly at this angle. So I'm gonna put one big snow, um, big snow, one big circle right here. And then, let me make the, that go again like this. And then I'm gonna make another one here for the center part of him. Now his head, 
would be all the way out here. It would be off the paper, so I don't have to do a shadow for that. I'm just going to do an elongated circle right underneath. Well, it's actually kind of a half a, or three-fourths of a circle, or kind of a stretched out oval, because I want it to touch right on the bottom of the snowman, and I want it to stretch off like it's shadow, his shadow is casting uh, uh, some darkness onto the snow, okay? In the other place, so that I'm going to leave as dark as I can because that's a really dark shadow. Oops. Um, and then on this side of each snowball, I'm going to draw a line that kind of goes, it goes a little bit about halfway underneath each of the snowballs, okay? And why I'm doing that is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to blend. I'm going to kind of smudge it a little bit. I want it to look like that this side of the snowballs are kind of darker. And then I might even blend it right to the middle here. I might make a little circle there, a little circle there. I've got just a little bit on my finger. You could also take a light blue if you wanted to and put a little bit in the center there, just a little bit, and blend it around so that it looks like it goes from white to light blue to dark blue. Now you don't want to actually see a solid line of this dark blue except maybe right along the edge. You want it to be blended. You want it to gradually blend out and go from dark, dark, dark over to really, really light. And if you accidentally get this darker over here, you can take your white and you can add a little bit more white to this side because this is the side, side where the light is shining on. We really want them to be light there. Okay. Once you have your shadows in, now you're ready to make this your own. This is where you get to personalize it. You can add hats, scarves, um, think of a storyline. Maybe he's having a cup of hot cocoa. Um, don't forget your last thing is the black and don't do the black until the very end because if that gets smudged, there's no way to go back, okay? Your black should be your very last detail color, okay? If you're gonna do arms, use different shades of brown. I put brown and then I did a light tan on top to show where the light was hitting the top of the branch and I put black underneath it to make it a shadow. You can do that with the branches. You can do that with anything, even the hat. I put some lighter white on the hat here to lighten the pink so that it looks like the moon is shining onto his hat and making it lighter. So you want to give it 3D, you're going to have to do different values of each color, okay? Um, if you want to add stuff in the background, in this one I added some trees. I haven't really finished this one, so I have a lot more to do on that one. But anything you want, to make yours your uniquely yours, go ahead and add all those details and then don't forget to take a photograph of it and put it in your Artsonia account.